spoon. Let's go. Oh. Do it. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got this. Hey guys, Greg Hudson here, host of America's Best Restaurants. And today we are in Cocoa Beach, Florida at a barbecue joint where the name is more than just about barbecue. It's called Slow and Low. And between hurricanes and setbacks, they still made it happen. Now, normally I go through the front door, but the wind is wafting on the beach here. And I can tell you the smoker is right back there. So we're going in this way because we want the smoke. Get the gloves yes, on. Sir. Ray, how's Ray? it going? Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. So I know normally when we do this, I come in the front door, but brother, we pulled up in the van and I'm getting ready to walk towards the front door and the wind blows and I get this waft of smoke. And it was coming from around the corner. So I apologize for the entry. I don't blame you, brother. I'm not breaking and entering. I was following the smell, bro. Oh, that hook, that it, oak smells good, man. It looks like we're in the right spot. I'm about so to take some spare ribs. So what's going on here? What do we got? What do we got here? About to take some spare ribs off and spray some chickens. Get out of here. Look at this. Oh yeah. This is exactly what I smell. So what you, you got a little spray there, chef? What do we yes, got? Yes, sir. We got some vinegar, apple juice, lemon juice, and Worcestershire. Okay. The mixture's a secret. That's fine. And then, so are, how often are you doing this as things are on the smoker? I try to do it as, as much as I can. So um, maybe um, if we're cooking the ribs for two and a half hours, I'll try to do it at least three times. Wow. And I'll really soak it when I'm taking it off. Got you. And before these go in here, what do you, is there a process as far as like a rub? Are you salt yes, and pepper I, guy? I, what, do you, I, what, do, what do we do? We have our dry rub. It's a uh, garlic, brown sugar. Uh, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and salt. So, yeah, I'll, I'll rub them right before I load them up, and then wow. then I spray them as they're cooking. And is it the same for the chicken as well that I see in there? Yes, sir. We use the same rub for all of our chickens. Wow. Our, you know, you all, know what I love about that? There's like a consistency when you come to slow and low. You you recognize the flavor no matter what it is that you're trying. Whether sir. you get the chicken right or the ribs, that that through line is that seasoning. Look at these things, man. So the next process, I'm gonna wrap them up and oh. put them back in a pan, put them on a smoke, on, back on the smoker. So they're gonna, that's gonna tenderize them. So they fall right off the bone. And then the final process is we throw them on the grill and base them with our barbecue sauce. Oh, Car caramelize man. it. See, and that's, that's what I love. Not everybody does that, right? So what Chef is explaining to you here is when you get some ribs or barbecue and it's got like that caramelization, that crust, it's from getting that char and you're yes, doing sir. it from getting it on that grill. Yep. And not everybody's doing that. But for me personally, that's how I like my barbecue to be done. I love it finished over a flame or on a grill. Get that charred Look flavor. Look at all these it's, things, man. It's beautiful. This is gorgeous. This must <laughs> never get old. No, it doesn't. It's just, I, it's, I love it. Do you realize, chef, if I may explain something to you that on Saturdays and Sundays, there are people around this country that do this for fun. And you're getting paid to make that's, some that's awesome right. barbecue on a daily <laughs> basis. Like you got, you know, regular brothers like me, I'm doing this because I love it on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. You're actually, you can get the check. I do it at home too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what, like most chefs, like friends of mine, they're like, now nah, when I go home, I eat peanut butter and jelly. But oh, you, no. you have a passion for this. So you're going home, you're making stuff yourself. Absolutely. Oh, man. Well, let's go brother. Let's, let's go. Get, I right. can't, I can't wait to eat like there we need to get going because i need i need to eat some of these heard that soon. let's go okay so from the smoker down to the kitchen we got the grill the char broiler here man what's we, next so we get the we, we char up the bottom here burn that skin off until it's bacony all right. What, you do that here? Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. So we're going to throw it on there. We're going to let that bottom part crisp up before we put any sauce on it. I'll put it on the top, but not on the bottom yet. Okay. 
See, and you know what's great is nice lather of that, that sauce, sorry. Oh, no, you got some more. So you're slapping, we got the top of the barbecue sauce. Yep, so we got the I'm bottom. Just, I'm just crisping that up right now, and then I'll base that when I flip it over. I love that you equated it to, like, bacon. As soon, oh, yeah. as, you, as, soon as he said, we want that to crisp up like bacon on the bottom, like, collectively, everyone that's watching this. Like, but also, you're giving us, like, some pro tips right now, yes, because sir. I'm a guy that loves barbecue and loves food. I've never done that before. And you probably are thinking the same thing. So Chef just hooked you up with a pro tip. And you can see it. That fat must be rendering because yes, sir. Yep. you're getting that flame now. Gorgeous. Just give it a minute. And how long, how long do, those, do those stay in that smoker, man? So they, they stay, I cook them to color. It's not really, so it's about two and a half hours. But it's a feel thing for you. It's more of color. Yeah, okay. So I, I look for this color right here. That, that burgundy color. So this is our dry rub. Throw a little bit more of that on there. Get oh, some nice man. flavor in it. We, we, already, we already rubbed it before I put it on the smoker. That's it. We just reuse that container. No, that's okay. No, I'm just, I'm trying to sniff it and try to get a little secret. I'm trying to find it with the secret. Look at that, man. Look at this. So now we're going to base the bottom of it before we send it out. And we're just caramelizing the barbecue sauce on the other side. Wow. And I keep going back to this because you mentioned it earlier. Like now, because you said that, I can smell bacon because you said that. Like that's, that's all I can smell right now is bacon. Crispy like you would have some it bacon. Is it is. You yeah. see the crispy char on there? Yep. I'm like nerding out right now. I think that's that's you guys can tell. I'm like super nerding out right now. <laughs> and so whenever someone orders ribs, like you're not just doing this for us. This no, is no, how this you is really how, do it. This is how it. we serve it. So they come in. They order some ribs, it's getting done, it's in the smoker that long, it comes out, it's getting the finish on the grill yes, every sir. time they order. Yep. Get out of here. Our baby back ribs as well. You got, <laughs> you got a nice char on there. Look at that, man. Is and I nice? love that you slathered the, the barbecue sauce on there to get that extra caramelization. Yes, sir. So all we gotta do now is cut it. We gotta wait, I just wanna grab it. Hey, whenever you're ready, off the grill. Gonna off the grill, we're gonna take it over up. here. Man, I love that that caramelization smell. Those that crispy burnt edges of a rib are just so delicious. So this is how we'll serve it. Look how naturally you do that. That's. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Come on. Well, that and was it, only one thing left to do, right? No, 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 no. Those are for us, brother. Pull those back. <laughs> <and we're> no. <laughs> no. Hey, sorry. Those, are, those don't go to the pass. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wrong number. Let's dig in. So it comes like this, and then what? We just dig in? Dig in. Ooh, those are hot. Yeah, give it a, give it a second. <whistles> All right, Chef. I think it's time to taste. All right, dig in. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to get the fat daddy. Look at that one. See, but see here's what I want you to really see. Yeah, come on over here because look at that smoke ring on yours. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's thing, right? what you're looking for. Yep. That's what exactly what you want. And I love all the caramelization I'm getting on this too. All right, I'm going for it. Look at this bone just pick clean off. Mmm. That beautiful. fell right off. Oh, baby. This, you know what I love, I think, the most about this? is your your rub is fantastic and the barbecue sauce is fantastic but it doesn't overpower the rib you're not hiding the rib underneath a bunch of barbecue yep. sauce and i've seen that done before and that's fine there's just enough on there you she can still add your own if you need to yes but i mean look at look at that you can see that's that smoke right there that thing and you're not hiding the flavor of the the, the meat itself Good times. This is going to be the quietest episode ever because I have nothing to say. I just want to shovel these in my face. Mm. So, I know we have a lot more to eat today. You guys have something called like the beast sandwich or something like that? That is our burn ends. It's pork, mm. uh, smoked sausage, coleslaw, and pickled onions. Oh, man. On our signature bun over there that you, you were looking at earlier. Well, I need to save some room, so I'm gonna have one more rib. <laughs> that is it. 
But after that, I think it might be time to try some of, some of your mac and cheese that's pretty famous too, right? Oh yeah, all right. Mac and cheese coming up after I crush this rib. Okay, sitting down with the owners now, uh, Nicole and Joel, and man, I just gotta look back there at the smoker and talking to Ray, the, the chef, the, this, you guys are doing, you're, you're creating some magic back there. Oh yeah. It's, oh. I mean, it's incredible. How, is this, did you start, like, did you guys do barbecue at home and then one day decide, hey, we should, you know what you should really do, open a barbecue restaurant. How did, how did this come to life? We uh, manage a barbecue restaurant for six years before we opened. We okay. were supposed to buy that restaurant and things just fell through with that. Mm. It was a um, few towns down and then we decided that we love Cocoa Beach and we we're gonna come to Cocoa Beach and open a restaurant here. Yeah. Um, we wanted to have a restaurant that had a big outdoor bar and good atmosphere, live music and so. Well, you've nailed all of that so far. I mean, because. I walked out the doors here. First of all, when, when I walked in, I didn't even realize this was out here. It was it was almost magical. You walk in and I saw like some indoor seating in there, which is great, look gorgeous. And then out this door, it opens up and expands into all of this. Oh yeah. This is where everyone wants to be all the time. If it's hot out, if it's cold out, it doesn't matter. Everyone wants to be out. If it's raining, it's they don't care. They want to sit out here. Well, and you guys are right across from the beach too, so I've noticed there's like a nice little breeze out here. We're getting just up on cue. There yep. it goes. Oh, like yeah. right on cue. Exactly, yeah. uh, and this street is actually Slater wet, so. I don't know if you're this, familiar with Kelly Slater. Oh, wait, the yeah. surfer? Yeah. yeah. So oh, this street is, we're on Slater This street is actually there. Slater wet. Yeah. No way, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. Yep. I, honestly, like that's the first thing that came to mind was Kelly Slater. Like, yeah. no, they're probably not talking about Kelly Slater, yeah. but you are. Yeah. Right yeah. Well, what's this? Let's dig in, man. Perfect. This is staring me in the face. I see a big mound of jalapeno, which I love spice. Good. What's going on here? Talk me through so, it. So we got our mac and cheese, and then we take that, we top it with some shredded Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese. Yeah, you do. Bacon, and a little bit of our uh, signature meat rub. <laughs> and then we top that with some pulled pork, some and zip-fried jalapenos. Man, this is cheesy. <laughs> it's cheesy, right? Ooh, look at that. It's a cheese and a pork pool. Most of the time, you, when you get a cheese pool when you watch the show, you're getting a pork pool today. Uh, you guys, here, you go, go ahead and dig in. Awesome. And I can feel, I can like hear the texture on those jalapenos, too. Oh, yeah. I love the crunch on there. Instead of getting, like, we do have to order. So instead of having a big batch of jalapenos, mm. sitting there. Wow. All right. And you're doing those in-house? Yeah. The we jalapenos? Do them in yep. Wow, that's, yep. that's great. Yeah, hey, dig in. Sorry. And these are, this is, I think this is such a neat touch too. You got like the little uh, mini cornbread, muffins. little cornbread muffin on the that's side. Good. I love that. And we make those um, in-house as well. Man, so I'm going right, to dig into this a little bit. Yeah. Check it out. So. I've, I've done a little homework though. I mean, it sounds like, I mean, you mentioned the one place that didn't work out down the street, which is down in another town, but kind of a blessing in disguise. 100%. But even this place, you had some setbacks and just some delays with this place as well, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So um, we bought the building in 2003. Okay. And um, we closed on the property two weeks later I find out we're, I'm pregnant with our daughter. Two weeks after you close. <laughs> Two weeks after we close on the property. Pregnant, so we're opening a big, huge restaurant and we're gonna have a baby. Oh my God, because because opening a restaurant isn't enough. Nope. It's too easy. Exactly. Too easy. It's too easy. Let's throw some more stuff out. Yeah, us. let's open a restaurant right across from the beach in the beach town and then have a kid. And have a kid. Two weeks after we open. Okay, so? So then um, we, get the plans, ready to submit them. The, the building um, inspector for the city of Cocoa Beach quit. We didn't have a building inspector. We couldn't get our plans approved. So that put us behind. So you're ready to go, but there's no building inspector. Correct. So it's like, ah, hurry up and wait. Right. So then we get the plans and then they're like, oh, you have, we for the outside bar, you have to have a special acceptance because we were the first outside bar in Cocoa Beach. 
How's that possible? Exactly. 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 How like is this? that possible? This is exactly. gorgeous. Yeah. Right. There should right. be. There should not be many indoor bars over here. Exactly. It's, it's paradise. No, exactly. everybody's outside. So now every so we finally so we have to wait a whole another month for that. So we finally get there. So now we're about three months behind. Then we go. We, the demo happens. We're gonna lay this get the cement in. There's a cement shortage because all the cement is going over to China to build the dam over there. So we have to wait a whole another month to get our, our cement. So now we're four months behind. Baby's coming. Baby's coming. Jeez. So then we're into April, May, and you no know, construction takes a while. Right. And then I have our daughter. So now we have to postpone the, the opening about six weeks. New mom. New mom. New, new dad. Figure out. Theater sick right here. Go ahead. Uh oh. She's on a ladder. She's nine <laughs> months pregnant. Oh yeah. With a paintbrush. Painting inside the restaurant. I'm the hook. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. It's insane. I'm like, yeah. So we made her paint most of these little signs. Oh, I got put on bed rest right after that. Uh, oh my gosh. Yep, right after the, that episode of um, me on that ladder. So yeah, doing too we had much. To, we had to put her down for a while. I, had to, I was on bed rest. Wow. Yeah, so it all worked out great. And what followed up with that though is like we're doing an interview process as we try to open this building. And uh, she's in the back room with this little tiny baby in a bassinet. <laughs> in the back of a barbecue joint, just like. In the back, she's like rocking it. And your name is? Oh my gosh. Oh, hold on. I have to... mm -hmm. You know, and go, so, okay, so going through this process, I mean, think about what they just told us, everything that they went through for this to open. Was there ever a point where you're just like, man, maybe we just shouldn't be, maybe we're just not supposed to do this? Oh, yeah. Well, Was there, were there nights where the you're just... Up. No, well, the, I think I started thinking that when we finally get to start open. Yeah. And we get hit by four hurricanes. <laughs> that was a sign. Uh, I was like, is maybe. this a sign? We, maybe we should not have done this? What? Right. I mean, it's just like everybody has their point, you know? Right. You get to that, it's just... And as hard as you're trying, it's like for every step forward you take, you take three back through no fault of your own. Right. Through no fault of your own, this yeah, stuff happens. That's the same thing. I mean, we can write a book on this. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Another time. We're, we even said, we're like, at some point in our life, we're going to laugh at this story. It's going to yeah. be a funny story. At the time, it was not very funny. Tearful. <laughs> not tears of joy at that right. point. At all. So the, la the very last hurricane that we got hit by, We'd been shut down so much. We were shut down more than we were open. The FPL guys were going around. I walked up with the baby and I'm like, please, can you come and turn our electric on? We just opened on this. Right there. We just opened the restaurant. We've been shut down four times. They saw what they were doing. They came and turned our electric on. For us. That's awesome. That, thank really you for cool. the power and yeah. light. Thank you. <laughs> Literally saved us. Well, I'm, I'm going to like break the fourth wall here to the camera because I want to explain something to all of you too. Um, we're here shooting this episode today, but we were supposed to shoot this weeks ago, but again, yeah, it hurricane. Hurricane. so everything they're telling you, like it continues and continues to the point that even this episode you're watching was supposed to be shot a few weeks ago, but this place is thriving now. Yes. It's incredible. It's not that oh yeah. Was there a moment after all of, of that? the trials, the tribulations. Was there a moment though where you finally, or when was the moment that you finally said, "This, we made it, We're, this is the right thing. Did, was there an aha? Or yeah. just the more the more crowded you started to see things going? So, well, the month, the month after we got to open, October, Cocoa Beach just embraced us. And oh, we were so great. busy. It was amazing. Like the whole town came together. We, I mean, it was, we were super busy. And um, then our one year anniversary, we um, were having a big anniversary party and Katrina hit New Orleans and Waveland, Mississippi. And that's when we were like, this year has been so amazing to us. We need to now go and give back to oh. them. So we turned our anniversary party to a fundraiser and went, went there and fed 1,500 people. It was the first time I ever slept in a tent. Jeez, <laughs> wow. Man, but, but By the way, it was Waveland, Mississippi, which most people don't even realize that place was completely devastated. Gone. It was gone. 
It was an it was an amazing experience. It was. It had People to be. were hugging us. Got to sleep in a tent. <laughs> <laughs> and we went like six six or eight weeks later and people were still eating MREs. Uh, so here we are cooking them hot food. So yeah. it was amazing. And that's when we were like, all right. We're doing the right thing yeah. here. And you know what? You knew what that felt like when hurricanes hit. You know what that's like. So for oh, you yeah. to take, I mean, that's, you are, you're not crying, I'm crying, okay? <laughs> um, but for you to take this big celebratory anniversary that you're gonna have the one year and then turn it into that, it almost kind of seems fitting as I sit here and listen to you tell that story. Right. It kind of feels again like that's what you were supposed to do. Like that yeah. was the right thing for your one anniversary given your story. Right. That yeah, was kind absolutely. of what needed to be done. Absolutely. That's how it sounds. Yeah. Yep. That's it, outstanding. It was great. Well, I, I got to congratulate you on what you guys are doing, what you've accomplished. I mean, this is just a joy. Thank you. And being out here, man, this is fun. There's a little table of locals, I, I like think, over Beach. here. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm enjoying Cocoa <laughs> Beach, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm like, I, I hear what you guys say about Cocoa Beach and how they really have embraced you. I kind of think that there's a reason for that and that they love you too. So I'm going to jump on over to this table and awesome. maybe get the scoop from the locals. Fantastic. Good idea. Thank you guys. All right, all right. I heard this is the party table. I also never miss a chance to sit down at the table with a bunch of lovely ladies and a very cool gentleman drinking doubles. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? It's just a Friday afternoon at a great restaurant. This place is awesome. So I was just in the back with a chef, and um, I saw the smoker and how they do all the barbecue here, like the ribs, the chicken. So for you guys, you you live local? Is this like yeah. a normal spot for you? Oh, yes. We love it. Yeah. We're here on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> right by the beach, and it's one of our favorites. Yeah, so I was going to say, like, we're getting that breeze in here. The oh, sun's yeah. starting to go down a little bit. You know what I mean? Four hour school happy hours hour. are going by. <laughs> <Four hours. laughs> Did you say they have a four hour happy hour yes. here? Yes. Yeah, I, yeah. I knew we came to the right hour. place. I knew we came to the right place. So, what did everybody get? Because I just, I have the, the beast, it's called. Turkey leg. Oh, you got the turkey leg? That looks so good, man. You missed a good shot of that. That turkey leg looked incredible. <laughs> So this, uh, does anybody, the, what's all on this? Anybody know the, the beast? beast? Uh, it's got a little uh, It's right? got the burnt ends. Burnt ends, right? Burnt ends. Cold right? pork. Right? Onions. Pickled onions, coleslaw. And they're white sauce. Onions, yeah. onions, yeah. onions, yeah. onions, yeah. onions, yeah. onions, yeah. onions. Yeah. Yeah. But so, check out the bun, though. I know, it's right? We got the we got the branded bun. You know what I love, though, that you guys devoured all of your foods, and they just get to stare at me making a mess. They just get to stare at me making a mess. How do you even? Is this like fork and knife? No, no. You gotta get it all in. Caveman, baby. Caveman. Peer pressure. Caveman. It's not man versus food. Let's go. Do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got this. Oh, yeah. Man, boy. yeah, that deserves a screw to wash it down. <laughs> My God, that's good. Go up, thanks. I'll take a beer. I need something to wash that down. So listen, man. It seems like you guys know this place pretty well. What what makes this special? Why do you, why you guys you know what makes this the place where you want to come for the Friday? Well, first of all, the four hour happy hour miss. Thank you very much. <laughs> but what is it about this place? The owners. The yes. owners. Really. Yes. And the wait staff. They're amazing. They're amazing. Everybody. Everything about this yeah. restaurant. It's very. It's just hometown. It's a family yeah. favorite. My son is convinced that they have the best hamburger. We went really? to a country a festival one time. They had a, a truck there, and he ate four hamburgers in an hour. <laughs> How old is this kid? Well, now he's 20. <laughs> Still. And when he graduated high school, they had to cater his, his party. Really? Yeah. It's that special? It that much. It's the best. Yeah, That's incredible. Best and you, you know what? You, you talked about the owners, and, and I had a chance to speak with them earlier. What I think is really neat, too, is the one word that comes to mind for me is perseverance. Oh, absolutely. The hurricanes. The hurricanes, the way they started, like they buy the restaurant. Oh, by the way, you're pregnant, BTW. Eh, open a restaurant, <laughs> open a restaurant, have a kid. Sure. That sounds easy. That sounds like it's not a problem. So just the perseverance and then time after time, the hurricanes, the this, the that. But it, it, it's 
I think slow and low is more than just the barbecue. You know what I mean? The slow and low is how they got here, but they got here and it's fantastic and it was worth it just like barbecue that takes so long to cook. This place took maybe longer than they expected, but slow and low is the way to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well said. Well said. Making the restaurants that they have, they put a lot, a lot of work in themselves. But they're probably very proud of what they did. Yeah. I believe it. And two of the best people. Yeah. See, that's what it comes down to. You know, today in restaurants, it's so hard to keep people working for you. Yes. Yes. Less problems than most because they're such good owners, good managers, create a community. And, staff. and that's what we find at America's Best Restaurants. We only focus on independent restaurant owners and restaurants and places that people love. Yeah, we're, we're not in the change. We're in the places like this. And the one common denominator that I think we notice when it comes to restaurants that are successful after the pandemic through all the trial and tribulation, it's exactly what you said that there, you know, that sh the chef's been with them for what, 16, 18 years. I mean, there are people that have been here for a long time, but that's because they, they like it here. They're treated well. The owners are great. And, and that to me is the foundation of a successful restaurant, right? And then, I mean, obviously you guys keep coming back. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So, all right, before we get out of here, favorite dishes on the menu. What do you got? Turkey oh. leg. Joel's. Joel's. <laughs> Which, which his sandwich called Joel's name? It's Joel's sandwich. What he just called? asked for the Joel sandwich. Uh, it's Joel's sandwich, and I don't ever look at a menu. You yeah. just say, give me Joel's sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, but not as big. <laughs> it's Joel's <laughs> crazy pork sandwich. Crazy yes. pork sandwich. Okay, that's a favorite. Yeah. I always look at pork, but I'm about to try the, the beast. Yeah. You're going to have a beast yeah. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. He made it look good. You might want to get a bit, brother. <laughs> they want to get you a bit. <laughs> They do need yeah. this here. Man. Yeah. Let's, let's check it out. Yo, now it's not just me. Somebody else has to try this. All right. All right. It's ridiculous. Come on. Yeah. 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 Good. And I see you got it all over your face, too. Oh, my gosh. Everything they're smoking here. Sliced beef is amazing. Yeah. It's just it's just crazy. So we have a new fan of the beast over here as well. Yeah. Uh, we got the Beastie Boys. The be <laughs> keep getting this lady beers. <laughs> just keep bringing them. Just keep bringing them to this oh, lady. The queen. Oh, oh, by the way. Yeah. That's what's on this sandwich as well. Yes. This is the, yes. the first thing I oh, tasted. I didn't know that. That's my new favorite. Though. Oh, I man. They are outstanding. I don't know what they're made of. Oh, my God. Wow. I don't know, but they are delicious. Want to know. I, I don't know what they're made about. I, yeah, they're fantastic. Well, I want to thank you guys for allowing us to come in, take some of your time here at happy hour. Have a good time with us. Yeah, do a cheers. All right, so cheers. Here we go. So thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see thank you next time on America's Best Restaurant. Cheers, everybody.